students, welcome to today's lesson. Our today's lesson is climate of Africa. The content include temperature condition in Africa, rainfall distribution in Africa, climatic region in Africa. In the previous lesson, we have learned factors that affect the climate of Africa. These are latitude, altitude, distance from the sea, mountain barriers, ocean current, and major planetary winds and pressure built affect the climatic condition of Africa. When we see the latitudinal location of Africa, almost two over three of African lays within the tropics. Because of this, Africa has high temperature throughout the year. Only the Western Cape in the Southern Africa and the Northern extreme point of Africa have Mediterranean climate. When we see the altitude of Africa depend on the previous lesson, Africa has diverse relief future, but dominated by plateau. 71% of the African lands are plateau. Because of this, plateau and mountain have great impact on the continent's climate. Distance from the sea also affect the climatic condition of Africa. When you see ocean current, ocean water move horizontally and vertically. The horizontal movement of ocean called ocean current. Depend on the origin, ocean current divided into two, warm ocean current and cold ocean current. The ocean current is divided into three, Canary called ocean current, Bengula called ocean current, Mozambique warm current. The Bengula called current and the Canary called current affect the northwest and the southeast of Africa. And the Mozambique warm ocean current affect the southern eastern part of Africa. Depend on your lower grade, winds are divided into three. These are planetary winds, monsoon winds, and local winds. Planetary winds are winds blow permanently but change their direction because of colliery's force. So most of the Africa lies within the tropics, hence much of it lies within the trade wind belts, that is, the south is trade winds and the north is trade wind dominate the climate of Africa. Let us see the temperature condition in Africa. As we have seen in the previous lesson, almost two over three land of Africa lies within the tropics. So most of the area of Africa has high temperature throughout the year. For example, the coastal areas, lowlands, and the desert and semi-desert area of Africa experience the highest temperature. The Kalahari Desert in the south has relatively cooler temperature as a result of the cold Bengala ocean current. As we have seen in the previous lesson, most of the desert of the world is found in the western coast of the margin except the Sahara Desert, which is found in northern part. The Ethiopian and the East African highlands, on the other hand, have lower temperature condition as a result of their high altitude. But not most all area of Ethiopia has cool temperature. Ethiopia has a different really future, highland, lowland, and rift valley. The coastal area of Ethiopia receive high temperature. The highlands of Ethiopia receive cool temperature. Generally, the Ethiopian and East African highlands has cool temperature because of their high altitude. The Atlas of Morocco and the Cape Range of South Africa have lower temperature in the continent as a result of their high altitude and latitudinal location. Let us see 
this map. The sun overhead within the tropics twice the year. During January, the sun overhead in the southern part of Africa, a tropic of Capricorn. So during January, the southern part of Africa receive high temperature and low pressure developed during January in the, the southern part of Africa. During July, the low pressure developed in the northern part of Africa because the sun overhead north of the equator. So the low pressure developed in the northern part of Africa. So northern Africa in this means has high temperature. The Sahara Desert is the largest desert in the world because of its location. It's found far away from the influence of ocean current. The temperature distribution of Africa also have seasonal variation. Such variation is the result of the apparent movement of the overhead the sun between the two tropics, that is Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. Let us proceed to what seems like the rainfall distribution of Africa. Uh, students, what are the dominant rainfall type in Africa? Can you think about this question for two minutes? The distribution of precipitation or rainfall in Africa is controlled by the intertropical convergence zone. The position of the ITCZ or the intertropical convergence zone is determined by the position of the overhead sun. Wind that carries moisture from the Atlantic and the Indian Ocean, that is the Gunia monsoon or the equatorial westerlies, and the southeastern winds invade the part of Africa north of the equator, causing the region to receive high rainfall. In short, the Gunia monsoon wind and the southeastern trade wind give rainfall for most part of Africa. During July, the sun is located near to the Tropic of Cancer. During this time, the western African coastal areas, the Ethiopian highlands, and the eastern Madagascar get their heavy rainfall during July. The westerly winds from the Atlantic Ocean bring rainfall to the north of Africa up to the southern fringes of the Sahara during July season. The Atlantic Ocean and the southeastern trade winds from the Indian Ocean bring rainfall to the southern Africa during January. 
So the westerly wind brings rainfall to the Maghrib region of North Africa. The Maghrib region receives rainfall during winter season because of the westerly wind that started from the Atlantic Ocean. During summer season, all African receive rainfall except the Sahara Desert and the Mediterranean climatic region. The, the Mediterranean climatic region receive rainfall during winter season because of the wind that started from the Atlantic Ocean. The name of the wind, we call it westerly wind. The Sahara Desert not receive rainfall during summer season because of its location. Winter season is dry in all parts of Africa except for equatorial and Mediterranean climatic region. Equatorial climatic region receive all your rainfall. It receives for eight and above months, it has high rainfall and high temperatures throughout the year. Why this equatorial rainforest region receive high rainfall because of the influence of onshore wind? Let us see this map. It shows seasonal distribution of rainfall in Africa. We have seen in the previous about temperature distribution during January, the sun is south of the equator. So the low pressure developed in the southern part of Africa. The high pressure started from the Atlantic Ocean and the Indian Ocean blow to this part of Africa. So during December, January, February, the southern part of Africa received rainfall. During July, the sun is overhead north of the equator. So the low pressure developed in the northern part of Africa. When we compare the northern and the southern part of Africa, the southern part of Africa receive high rainfall. But the northern part of Africa has high temperature and low rainfall. When we see the annual average precipitation, the southern part of Africa receive high rainfall than the northern part. As we have seen in the previous, the northern part of Africa has high temperature. So the southern part of Africa receive high annual rainfall than the northern part because of the influence of onshore winds. Students, can you think about this question for two minutes? Students, let us proceed to the climatic region of Africa. 
as you have seen in the previous lesson, Africa has diverse relief future. This diverse relief future results in diverse climate. So Africa has seven climatic regions. These are the equatorial, the tropical continental or savanna climatic region, the tropical desert and semi-desert, tropical maritime or monsoon, warm temperate or continental climate, highland or mountain, and the Mediterranean climatic region. Students, let us see each region of Africa. Let us start from the equatorial climatic region of Africa. The equatorial region is found between 6 to 7 degrees north and south of the equator. It has high temperature throughout the year because of high angle of the sun throughout the year. It has high mean monthly and mean annual temperature because of the effect of high angle of the sun. The daily and annual range, the equatorial climatic region has high daily and low annual range. This low annual range shows the equatorial climatic region receive high temperature in all months and it has high annual rainfall throughout the year. This region received known as convectional. There are three types of rainfall depending on your lower grade lesson. These are orographic, cyclonic, and convectional. Convectional type of rainfall is formed because of intense heat. So the equatorial climatic region has high temperature because of high angle of the sun. So the type of rainfall also convectional. And it has high rainfall throughout the year. It is between 1,500 up to 2,500 millimeter because of this rainfall is the result of onshore wind. Let us see the second climatic region of Africa. It is tropical continental or savanna climate. It is said to be the zone of transition because it is found between equatorial climatic region and the desert. For this region, summer is very hot and winter is cool. The total amount of rainfall it is between 500 up to 1,500 millimeter. For three to eight months, the region has dry climate. And also temperature and rainfall decline from north to southward. The third type of climatic region of Africa is the desert and semi-desert climate. Desert is formed because of different factors, for example, because of their location, because of the influence of ocean, and so on. So the desert climate of Africa is found bordering the tropical savanna. It has a short rainy season of up to three months, and about or between it is 250 to 500 millimeter. And the rainfall in this region is insufficient. It has high daily average temperature. It is between 25 degrees up to 36 degrees Celsius. Within 24 hours, the temperature of desert, it has great variation. Let us see the tropical maritime or monsoon climate. This climatic region found only in the southern hemisphere. It extends between Derba in South Africa to Dar es Salaam, which is found in Tanzania. In this region, temperature is very high and rainfall also high, but it is not greater than the equatorial rainforest climatic region. The rainfall is very high because of the effect of Mozambique warm ocean current. It has low annual range of temperature. The warm temperate continental climate is confined to the high level of the Republic of South Africa. It is the smallest of all the climatic zone. It has high rainfall and cooler temperature because of high altitude of the region. 
And this region received rainfall because of onshore wind that started from the Indian Ocean. The name of the wind, we call it Southeast Trade Wind. Highland or mountain climate. This region has cool temperature because of their altitude. For example, the Kilimanjaro and Mount Kenya permanently covered by snow because of their altitude. The region experience high rainfall. The type of rainfall we call it orographic origin. Most of the highlands area of Africa receive orographic type of rainfall because orographic type of rainfall is common in highlands. The last climatic region of Africa is the Mediterranean climate. The Mediterranean climatic region found in the Maghreb region in the north, from Morocco to North Libya and the Cape province of South Africa. This region received rainfall during winter season. The wind started from the Atlantic Ocean give rainfall for this region, but the rainfall is little. It is mainly found in the northern and southern tip of Africa. The amount of rainfall is between 250 up to 1,000 millimeter. It has a hot, sunny, bright, dry summer season and mild winter season. So the Mediterranean climatic region of Africa receives little rainfall during winter season because of the onshore wind that started from the Atlantic Ocean. The name of the wind, we call it Gunia monsoon wind or westerly wind. Uh, students, please copy this question and try the answer depend on the above explanation.
This is our today lesson. Thank you.